Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Uh, we will continue the development over here, but I asked in the last episode whether um, things are going quick enough and a few of you did respond. Some of you, most of you actually said you liked watching, watching all of the little things we do. Um, and so I do wonder whether, whether there's a bit of a mix that we can, can achieve. Oh, I do like the little animations around, around the gate openings over here. That's pretty cool. Um, but so I don't want to continue kind of um, fast building stuff or building it with cash. I want us to actually build it um, over time. There's one or two elements that I will kind of cash build. But uh, but generally, I think we're at a critical mass now where we can really get the stuff to, to build themselves out a little bit more. Lots of people waiting here to do the work. Um, and this has been done. I can... I think what I can do is I can um, drop down the amount of people that's actually working here. It should be pretty cool. Uh, it probably was done before, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, lots of uh, lots of criminals over here. Inmates getting getting um, results. So what I thought I'd do it. I might um, <clears throat> um, cut out certain pieces from time to time. So all of this under construction. Yeah, everything here I think is already. Um, supposed to be under construction. So that'll take a bit of time. This will take a bit of time as well. But one of the things that I thought we could make make uh, make do is uh, is get a nuclear fuel system going. Um, and then from there, we can really expand the uh, the amount of money with that we're making. And um, that will really make a big dent in, in this kind of stuff. So the question really around that is we have the ability to come and load uranium oxide and we could sell uranium oxide directly. But I believe um, it wasn't going to be a. It's not. It's not a great. It's not a great money maker. Well, it, it's pretty good, but it's not a great money maker. Uranium oxide, we could actually sell at about two thousand dollars or two thousand rubles per ton. We can also sell it for fair bit of dollars. But from here, we can make UF six, and then from there, we could make nuclear fuel. Right. And that is a big money maker. So let's have a quick look at that process. And then, of course, we can we can build some stuff that will allow us to generate power from it. So if we were to go, I think it's an advanced industry over here. This is nuclear. So we've got processing and we're getting it to uh, uranium oxide. From here, what we need to do is we need to um, provide it with chemicals and uranium oxide to get UF6. And then from there, we can create um, nuclear fuel. So that's a bit of a chain. Um, and how many workers does this, this need, requires a fair bit of workers, that requires a fair bit of workers. And so the question really is, um, at the moment, this is all terrain loading. For, oh, actually, actually, it's aggregate. So terrain uh, will be loading up over here. And then the question really is, do we, instead of running stuff in here, do we actually provide ourselves with a train station, which we should still be able to do, a train station that will give us um, access, hang on, um, that will give us access to, um, to workers in this area. So if we were to put a standard kind of train station in here, I'm not, yeah, that, that could work quite well, actually. We should have workers should be able to walk to that spot and then we could do our uranium industry on the other side plus we hmm we need the workers though right the workers is going to come over here but we can have workers to go to the other side so let's um without necessarily connecting everything up let's place that over there and then we'll have a bit of a look um around our uranium our uranium facility. So now we've got, we can bring um, the uranium oxide, which is a pretty low volume, to be honest. And this will be a low volume too, and that'll be a low volume also. So lots of low volume items. So we're not going to really, apart from the workers that we need here, we really don't need um, major, major infrastructure investment here. I can move things around a little bit over there. So the first one we have is um, we can, uh, generate almost one ton of UF6 and then we can use that one ton to generate um, a little bit of nuclear fuel. So we could do two of these, one of these and two of these. 
uh, 1.7 tons of uranium. Yeah, so these are about one to one, which I'll, I'll cover off. And then we can do two nuclear fuel fabrication facilities. So if we were to then say, uh, do a little something like this and we can. Okay, so we can do a little something like that. Okay. And you, UF6 is stored in, in what? Where do we store UF6? Let's have a quick look. I can't remember where we would store UF6. So if we go over there, UF6 does not go there. Um, so is UF6 a vehicle storage? Where would we store UF6? That is an interesting one. So if we do the these facilities, we've got for space for vehicles and containers. So I'm assuming it goes in there, right? Let's just have a look again. So if we go over here and we say, so this uh, to, to, to maximum production per day, UF6. I have no idea where we store UF6. Open space storage, warehouse import, radiated protected export. Ah, hang on. So it has to be, right? And again, this one would be radi heavy radiated protected export. Okay, so what that means is it will be a vehicle storage, right? So we'll basically need these these large facilities here if we were to try and do that alternatively what do we have in here how much can we actually store about four tons so presumably that's not too bad um okay let's have a bit of a look at that we could yeah we could easily get some road connections over here because ultimately, yes, it'll come in from here. So that's that's okay. So let's get that going. So then from there, let's uh, let's get the next stage of this. Not not construction over here instead. Ah, these are pretty sizable actually. So presumably, I wanted to put them. Okay, you know what? Let's um, let's demolish this. Let's demolish that one. I'm gonna move it closer, just a tad. Um. If we were to say just a train platform, so we can do some other train platforms, to be honest. We can do something like this. Um, actually, I'm kind of wondering, maybe we, I'm, I'm tempted to do that. Because we don't have any other kind of general through movements. That's okay, let's do that. That should be able to get a pretty nice little walkway going there. Um, let's go back to, um, to this facility here. So if I were to put that one nice and close, and I just want to make sure, yeah, yeah, this will have, um, we'll have to actually, we'll have to do, we'll have to give it a bit of room over there. Okay, and then if we grab these guys, we'll have one, we might have to move it even further actually. So if we were to do one, hmm, actually let's do this. Let's do one here and we'll flip it around and do the other one on the other side and we'll have to see how that all works together. Really the idea is like so. Um, ooh, hang on. Just before I before I finish that off, I do need a storage facility. I think a joint storage facility here is going to be what we require. So let's uh, let's get rid of that guy, and let's have a look if we and I, and, I, and I don't necessarily have to do it nice and um, symmetrical like I've done it now. What we can do is see about ah and see this isn't going to work. So we're going to have to do a bit of changes there. Let's turn those around. So to try and see if we can't get um, something that makes sense. So what I would like to do is try and connect something like this. And 
and uh, and then we'll have to do flip it around and do a very similar thing over here but maybe we'll try and get a vehicle storage moving first and this will in fact work so something like that um it's interesting this one could actually have us get a get a helicopter um a few helicopter ports here so let's do that one and then let's do this again flip it in a way that will make sense so something like that really is what we need and then we'll need to get these things to kind of work together so if we do something like that if we move this guy can we get it all to kind of work here i'm not sure it will but uh, but we'll see um, how much storage does this stuff actually have let's just have a look uh not that this uh this has storage for only two tons so i, I definitely want the extra storage there uh, so if we were to grab this guy can we can we get this to work is the is the plan uh, I want to see if we can if we can potentially make this work that one seems logical this one is just too long it's just too long that'll work that'll work Okay, let's uh, let's let's get that one out of the way, and we'll try it one more time. It's a little bit of trial and error; these kind of things, just to see if we can't get that perfect fit going. Um, I'm not even too worried about some of these walking connections. We should be fine. So, if I close that down, and we'll try that one more time, please work. That works. This works. Uh, that works, and that work so now um we could make this one work um and what i'm keen on understanding is can we actually get a heliport oh no not that kind we want this kind of heliport so that will allow us a bit of loading directly to helicopter which I, I have the idea that that's a pretty cool thing to do yeah now we don't have to do it that way we could also do it this way which I think might be slightly better so if we were to do that okay excellent so see let's see can we now get that road connection out there we can so let's do something like that um, let's run That section there and we'll we'll try and sort it out in a, in a reasonable way that's pretty cool um, okay what we need to do first is connect that up uh, my idea here is to do a little something like this tie that in over there uh, we will need this guy uh, presumably we can do that but anyway we'll leave that there um, all of this stuff, just, just, just so I quickly understand, all of this stuff will need chemicals, right? This one needs very little chemicals. That one needs a little bit more. But still nothing too major for us. So we don't really have another connection for chemicals. I think I'd rather just to do the chemical delivery one by one and we can we still have access to provide um little storages right so if we were to say oh actually we need more chemical storage we do have this side and we don't really have this side in a way that can work though that might work okay so let's place that in there Ooh, actually cancel that do it the other way around. Just want to make a, make sure we've we've kind of considered a little bit of extra room there. So let's do this. Grab this guy and um, oh, we flip it around like so, and look at that. Now I just want to yes, there we go. That's the one. 
So I want to kind of do this. Excellent. Now let's uh, let's get our rail connections in place. So again, we're going to go with the concrete facilities. Now we've got this guy in here. Now the question is, we can probably directly out of there do an extra one on that side and. Um, And do something like this. Yeah, actually, I, I like doing it on that side. Instead, now we can flare out. Um, so we don't necessarily need a lot of room. But we do need some room. Oh, that looks like it's been made for it. What I will do is I'll do this one out on this side. Can we, can we try and, yeah, just give it a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's better. And we'll do this one on here. And we'll try and take it out. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. There we go. So that actually gives us a pretty nice little, little way of dealing with it. And then we can, um, of course, run them all in on this side. Like so, like so, there we go. So something like that, for instance, is a pretty nice little setup. Now we can bring in workers to all of these facilities. It should be pretty straightforward to get that happening. Uh, now I'm kind of thinking we would like to not necessarily, well, we could run it in over there. So let's, let's have a look about that. If we were to run it like this, can we we really can't make that happen can we can we I think we can make that happen beautiful excellent that's pretty cool and we'll tie that in there so that's actually a pretty reasonable way of doing it uh, we will probably connect it on this side. Well, actually, that's much better because from the uranium oxide perspective, we'll do that. So let's uh, do that. We run it up there. That's actually pretty cool. I like that idea. We'll go fairly straight up there. What I'll do is I'll just straighten this up a little bit. So we, we want to make sure we've got some extra room. I think the, reason, the, the extra train station here makes a lot of sense because now that means we can put in an extra fire station in here. Um, we've got the helicopters to move uh, nuclear fuel to various border posts. I think that'll be good. Um, we can certainly put some fuel stations in here as well. I think that'll work as well. Uh, maybe in here, some of this corner pieces. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and pay for our road connections. Ooh, really? Are all of these road connections this expensive? That I didn't quite get. So let's, uh, let's just kind of do this. Really? This is the expense of the road connection? It feels really expensive. It feels really expensive. Okay. So what we'll do is let's just leave it in planning mode for the time being. I w I'm really keen on getting some of this stuff um, booked up so that we can so that we can uh, we can start doing the whole nuclear fuel thing. Um, okay, there you go. So that's that's pretty good. That's a, that's our planning for nuclear fuel right, right over there. How are we tracking on this stuff? The mine is still underway but progressing nicely. The o o processing plant is doing okay. This has not been. Um, targeted for construction just yet. I'd rather get the other bits and pieces done first. Got a little bit going on over here. So that's looking pretty good all around. There's a lot of construction work underway. Let's uh, let's make our move um, to the other side. Okay. Okay, so over here, what we've done is... 
uh, we've got our, oh yeah, we've got our coal power plant over here that's doing a reasonable job. It's got everything it needs. There's a train waiting somewhere. Ooh. Why? So you're trying to go in there. Why would you, why would you not do, oh, because your drop off is, de is definitely over on that side. Ah, so that really um, is not great. We, we, we don't want, um, we wanted to use the other one, to be honest. So let's just um, send that one away. Are we out? We're out. We're out. Okay, so that's a, that's an interesting one. Get it out of the way. Speed things up a little bit. We'll get this one out of the way. This is a problem. This can cause us some um, some significant heartache. Our happiness is still looking pretty reasonable. Um, I think what I want to do is probably place an extra... I think I probably want to place the chain signal over here. They're not too long, so presumably some of this will work. And what I'll do is I will... Just clear that one out of the way and we'll get, get that to work. You know what? We don't need all of this stuff. Let's just get rid of that one also. So now it's basically telling us it's gonna go, ah. So what I'd rather do is I would want a chain in here saying that, and in there saying that if these guys are engaged at all, um, we don't want we don't want any of this. So now hopefully it's gonna act a little bit better. Okay. Um where did we where did we do the chemicals? The chemicals is over here, right? Oh look at that. Look at that. We're actually full up on chemicals here. Okay, so now and I don't have we started moving our chemicals? So we're doing it to the explosives, we're going to waste treatment. We're going to, to water treatment. We're going to commotion of uh, station. And uh, we're loading. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the loading. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's all good. So it's going everywhere it needs to go, I think. Not necessarily everywhere. If we go over here, how much chemicals do we have ready to go in this area? A lot. Do we need more chemicals here? As opposed to anything else, really. I don't think so. Even a fabric here? Oh, it's for, for that guy. That is interesting. Okay. Well, that's looking pretty good, really. This is filling up very well. I think I might end up paying for some of that stuff just so we can get the nuclear fuel started. Um, that will really change our, our situation. This thing is filling up really nicely. Is this our... Oh, what is this doing? Ah, yes, this is moving. Uh, this is trying to trying to manage our our waste. That's what this is trying to do. I'm kind of tempted that we need an export as well here, All right? I'm thinking we need an export facility so that we can start exporting this. What would we actually get for? Um, for the export of chemicals. How much do we, we, we're only at half, right? Half capacity here. We wanna have a look at some certain things. So if we were to export chemicals, and not loans, chemicals. Chemicals is pretty pricey. We can make a reasonable amount of money by exporting chemicals. So if chemicals gets beyond a certain level, we're missing gravel. Ah, so really, gravel is starting to become a bit of a problem for us. So these guys, are they, we might just need to add some extra. We'll add some extra to that now. I also want to do another distribution office so that we can do um, the export of chemicals, really. Uh, maybe not the small, small one, maybe the medium one. So we can add at least eight vehicles in there. And I'm not keen on adding more to, to that piece there. But it might be cool to do something like this. We don't need we don't need anything really there. I don't want to 
necessarily get get this road much busier than it's already at at the moment. That is a massive uh, piece of nonsense that we're dealing with over there. Um, I'm thinking something like that should be pretty reasonable. So let's get that in place. Um, that should work. We're missing fuel. Let me quickly uh, just build that little section. See, that thing is still saying it's got a lot of road pieces that it needs to build. Are we out of fuel? Yeah, I think we're out of fuel because this guy is now going a nice big load of fuel. This is doing incredibly well. Our, our refinery is really keeping us afloat. Uh, I'm going to also fund this construction just so I can make a start on that because this stuff, if it's beyond 80% full, I think, or ma let's make it 70%, so we then we'll start exporting this a little bit more. I also want to make sure that we understand when our chemicals are out. But this is, it's got, it's not got drinking water. Ooh, you know what? Let's have a quick look. This has chemicals. This should be operating. Do we have maximum people? We have. Are we... We're not getting enough water in here, are we? Ah, oh, okay, hang on. I think, I think what I can do, these have, in, have enough water going for it. This guy can process 300. This one gives us, oh, actually. Okay, anyway, let's just, um, Let's just quickly have a look. I think we just need some additional. Ah. Hmm. This one is, yeah, not working at the kind of capacity it should be working at. So really what we need to do is provide ourselves an extra pumping station. And we can probably bring in something from both sides. So if we say, give me a pump water pumping station here flip it around we'll do that we'll move some stuff in uh, this is not going to be great is it okay oh, actually that works reasonably well and reasonably well like so what we'll do is we'll do one like so and we'll do uh, no 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 um cancel that little section there and we'll do the other one like that and what i need to do is let's quickly see about building all of that because i believe that'll give us the water kind of connections that we need now this guy should be yeah up doing a lot more excellent so now hopefully our water tank should be filling up and we shouldn't have any issues with water over here do we oh do we not have okay well anyway we've upgraded our resilience there do we not have water connectivity? We do not. Okay, so that's why our production here, uh, well, actually our production is pretty good considering considering that. Right? Oh, now it's operating without any issues. That's interesting. So does this thing... Hmm. Okay, well, we might need that. Anyway, now what this is going to be, let's just rename this. This is going to be... Um, Thermoil ski, um, uh, chemical, chem exports, chem exports. There we go. And what it needs to do is it needs to grab chemicals over there. We'll buy a couple of vehicles here quickly. Uh, we would like covered holes at a total capacity and a very good speed. Yeah, that's pretty good. 4.25 tons of chemicals. So this is what we want, really. So give me these guys, because they're nice and quick as well. So give me uh, one, two, three, four of them, I think. Gonna be okay. Can we change their colors? We can. Let's change their colors. It looks cool. Change their colors. Uh, actually, the blue and stuff is pretty cool. Let 
Anything else? I kind of like that one. It's a bit grey though. Let's just go with those. I think that's going to be reasonable, just so that they're not the standard color. There we go. So these guys are then going to pick up chemicals above, say, 70%. And the next spot is going to be to export them for us. Go and export that over there. And that should get them jumping. Yeah, I mean, that's, this is full. What we want to do is make sure that we're earning cash monies off of this. Rain is waiting too long again. I'm assuming it's here. That's actually looking pretty reasonable. You are trying to export that, but for some reason you want to keep doing this. This is just on... A, okay, what we're going to do is uh, train aggregate loading, then you go to Komoshinovsk, and then what you want to do is you want to... Um, I'm through here, really. Really? Uh, oh, hang on. I didn't quite realize it was adding it all the time. Okay, this is a this is a very bad way of doing it. I didn't hear the click. So here I hear the clicks, but otherwise I don't. So again, just after that, what we want to do is we want to add one waypoint over there. And what we'll do is we'll send you off on your way. And uh, and then we should, because we're now just running it through there, we should be fine to, to run it through that, through that one. So then we should open this up a little bit more with regards to our, our coal and, and so on. We'll have lots of power and everything going on. Our, our exports of this stuff, okay, yeah, we shouldn't go too crazy with that because we want to maintain it. Now, what we want to do is get more gravel. So let's get an extra gravel facility going on. So we would like another gravel quarry. That's a pretty nice, pretty nice value right there. I'm gonna go with that. We'll do that. Oh, I paid for a lot of stuff that I probably shouldn't have paid for. Let's just see, did we end up building it? Yep, there we go. That's what we uh, ended up paying for. And there might be other pieces, I'm just imagining. Just imagining there might be other pieces. This is not built yet. That's not built yet. Lots of workers here. Oh, yeah. But we're going to run out of concrete. Concrete is the issue here. But we should be generating our own concrete in this area. We're missing cement, though. Ah... So, we're missing cement, so we're not getting enough concrete. So, let's just have a quick look. So, construction materials. Uh, okay, so what I want to do is get some more, so get another uh, good cement model in there. One, two cement models in there. And hopefully, we're going to get cement here a little bit quicker and more reliably now. We need cement a little bit more. Um, now, we'll see about the rest of this. What I can do, let's, uh, let's close this out. So I've spent a lot of money on, on what, what we've got here. What I'll do is I will get the rail tracks to start its construction. This is slow going on this side. And this side, is that done? That's done. So is anything else? Probably, not, not, probably nothing is under construction now. So what I'll need to do is just get our crews to do the, re the next piece. Have me this guy. And just see what is it building at the moment one unfinished railway track so really it's not doing everything it should be doing so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and assign some more construction um definitely want to do that what we can also do is oh that needs to be built first of course um so let's just start assigning that piece so that we can slowly start building some other stuff uh, on this side, we have construction underway, but we can also probably make a start on this one. Now, let's just let, leave every, all of that go. This guy is slowly starting to build all of the stuff it needs. Um, I will go over here and say, 
Start construction there. Good. So all of that is now potentially underway. We can all, all uh, we can do the other stuff a little bit later. That should work. I think that's okay. I do want to get that up and running. Okay, so now we should make more money due to this. Yeah, this needs a much longer throat length here because this is really the issue. This thing is working, right? It's not a problem. It is working. But uh, the throat length here is a bit of a... There's not enough storage because they are in a, they end up waiting here. Now, we could have a bit of a look. Is there a, is there a, a, is there a vehicle thing that we could do? Like a, a cargo... No, unfortunately not. Nothing for us there. But yeah, cargo, road cargo stations is definitely something we can keep an eye on. We're missing gravel over here because gravel is a bit of a slow movement there. Um, that's kind of under construction now, isn't it? But what I'll do is I'll just end up, um, I'll just end up building that really. And what we'll want to do is get an excavator in there. Is there a, no, we're going to get that excavator for us, please. Go and fill some stuff up. And what we need to do is procure a couple of vehicles. So I'll just do it over here. Give me a few. I would like a, what am I looking, dumpers? I'm looking for dumpers. Um, and I want capacity please, but a reasonable speed. Actually, that's a pretty nice one. It's a little bit more, but it looks a little bit awkward. I'd rather go with these guys. So give me two of them. And then what we'll do is we'll say um, pop in there and drop off over there. Wait until, uh, oh, actually, not wait until loaded. There we can go and wait until you're unloaded. And there we go to quarried stone. And we'll make a start on that. And what we'll do is we'll have a look at this one. And we'll just have a look at these lines. Quarried stone 4 is what we're going to call this one. This is going to be called... Um, no, 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 not, not that. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The, rename the line to... Quarried stone 4. There we go. And do that and save it and um, that's fine and we'll get the other one signed as well or it's stone four and we'll make a start there and we'll buy one more numbers capacity and we'll get we'll get this guy also assigned to Quarried Stone 4, and we'll make a start there. So now, hopefully, we'll up our, our Quarried Stone numbers so that we'll get a little bit better with our gravel production. That's kind of the plan. Um, so this guy is now... Uh, we're now appropriately selling our chemicals as is required um, when we run out. Uh, this is full. Gee, some of this stuff is crazy. So is this thing not operating? Yes, we cannot actually export. So why is this stuff now so slow in terms of getting some of this stuff moved? There's a lot of construction waste in here, actually. Why is that? I mean, a new one of these we probably missed out on. What is this? A lot of construction waste. Why? Same here. Why are we... Why are we getting so much construction waste? Something's not right here. Something's not right. So let's just have a look. So what does this guy do? So mixed waste comes in, right? This guy, oh, this doesn't actually do anything. So this guy brings stuff in, right? Then from there, this guy... Okay. So, we don't have, so, waste to burn. Oh, actually, 
So what is this guy doing? This is picking up there and it is dropping off here. Okay, so it needs to be burnt, okay? Right, and then from here, all of these guys, where are they getting it from? Just from the incinerator, right? Oh, interesting. So this guy is not burning it? Oh, you know what? It might be passing straight through. But still, construction waste should still be fine. Something is not quite right with uh, with some of this stuff. We do need to figure that out. So can we get another couple of dumps going? I just have to have a look at that. So a couple more free dumps. Right? How many can we do? We can do two more. Um, probably, yeah, probably over here. We'll do one there. And one there, and we'll tie that one in there and tie that one in there. And then what we'll do is we'll say one of these trucks, you go over there and unload all of your mixed waste. Right, and you wait until you're loaded and we'll get rid of you. Okay, so you'll make a move there. The other one will say you're going to go over there. Unload all of your mixed waste waste until you're unloaded, not that, and you'll clear that one off, and then we'll go there. I do wonder, something must have gone wrong um, in all of our processes, because definitely that is a bit of a challenge now. Now this guy's loading up there, and the other guys should still be running quite nicely around. More than enough spare room here. Okay, very keen to get a few things out of the way we've got a bit of money now we should have made a reasonable dent in some of these things um a lot of this stuff actually needs to be delivered elsewhere let's just have a quick look come back over here have a bit of a look yeah i don't know i'm the <laughs> let's have a look here this okay with the cement cannot export concrete that's good uh, this has every all the concrete it needs. Not yet. Still waiting on some more concrete. And now on workers as well. That is built. This is built. It's got some, some stuff. Building is without drinking water. Yes, absolutely understood. A lot of this stuff is under construction at the moment. Oh, that is operating without issue. But these are still under construction, right? Yeah, they're still under construction. A lot of stuff is happening here at the moment. Um, this is... Yeah, actually, a little bit of workers here should do do the trick nicely. It'll be iron ore. This is being built. That's going along. That's okay. All of that is working. What's happening over here? These are being constructed reasonably well. Um, that is getting done. Um, what I'm kind of wondering is can I uh, go ahead and do that let's do that okay uh, we'll continue with that let's get this one going let's build this one let's build those two uh, and what we will need to do is if we were to hmm that's a lot of money but this thing is up and running oh it doesn't have any of the stuff it needs to be honest so that's a bit of a a bit of a challenge doesn't have any of the stuff it needs this is still being built yeah this is pretty pricey but let's get that up and running once we've got nuclear fuel um we'll be in a good spot we'll be in a really good spot so what we want to do is we would want um We want to do a little bit of this. Okay, right, we'll pay for that little section. Whoa, guys. How much more money is this thing going to cost me? Get it done, get it done, get it done. Okay, goodness gracious me. That was a lot of money. Anyway, now we're up and running. That can slowly finish things off over time. 
we should now be in a position where we can actually start doing this. Let's just get our our bits and pieces coming in here. So if we wanted to do, we needed power. So let's do, let's look at power, water and sewage. Sewage, I'm kind of thinking we'll do our own and we'll just dump it on this side instead. Might be a better option for us. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Really, we can't, we can't make sewage work. Oh, oh it's the other way around. Come on. This is so infuriating, really. Okay, give me my terraforming tools, please. And all we need to do is just, we want to level the terrain. Uh, and I'll go and pay for it a little bit here. So something like that should give us a reasonable spot for our sewage. So let's get out of there again. And we'll come back and grab this guy. Yes. There we go. So that can work. That should give us um, reasonable sewage connections. Now, if we were to go here, none of them have their own. So what we'll need to do is do... Kind of tempted to do that. We may need more. So we'll go with that one. And what we'll do is we'll add ourselves... A couple of these guys in here. So if we were to just do that and that, we'll get ourselves a nice big pipe to go into the middle there. This one should quite comfortably go there. And that one should quite comfortably go in there. So there we go. So now that's a sewage line. That should do its trick. Uh, we might have to pay for that if we've got the money to do so. Uh, beyond that, we would want to get a water connection going. Now, water is a different story because water comes from reasonable water comes from over this side. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work. We'll need to bring water straight through here and to the other side. So what I'm thinking is we need a big pumping station somewhere where we can get it to be powered. Let's grab it. We want to flip that around, make sure we have a power connection here. We'll do that, so at least we can squeeze some other stuff off there. We will need to probably do another one right over here, I think. We want to flip it around again, do something like that. So we'll need it to be powered in this general area. There's a new vehicle type available. And then what we want to do is get ourselves a water substation. Where it makes sense, something like this. Right over there. Now, that I believe should work. So let's get some water connectivity through here. And we dip it down. We can. Let's do that. Tie it in there. There we go. Now, this guy... So we'll go down into the water there and come straight over on the other side and uh, and then from here we'll just tie that in. That's a pretty pricey piece of infrastructure if we were to go and set that up straight away. What I will do is I'll tie that in and what we'll do is we'll make a bit of a start there and there. Okay, but the rest of this uh, may need to wait a little bit more. Uh, what we'll need to do also is let's just tie this here. There's another train waiting too long. That is painful. Oh, hang on. It's over here. Let's uh, let's have a look. I'm assuming it's not waiting too long anymore.
Hmm. Okay. So I think what we'll need is another. Um, Yeah, that should uh, help things all along a little bit. These are moving, exports are happening, though we're spending a lot of money. Now, we can we can make a start and start dropping off some stuff here. Uh, what do we need over here? This guy is practically full. So what I'm thinking is we need... Um, to be honest, at the starting point, we may be okay with just getting... Should have a... Is this this is a local distribution? Where did where did we buy? Ah, we buy bought some stuff over here. Give me so what what actually it's open hull, all right? If we were to do open hull and total capacity, that guy can do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and grab. Maybe just one of these, actually. Let's grab one of those. Actually, what is this? This is 27. This is 16 tons. So let's grab one of them. Pretty keen on it. And what we'll do is we'll say from here. Oh, oh actually, no, 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 no. Um, uh, instead, from here, you will be picking uranium oxide and you will be um, delivering uranium oxide over there. And you'll be waiting until you're unloaded. So let's make a start on that one. That should be all good. Now, we would have chemicals available over here. So what we can do is we can get this guy to start um, distributing chemicals for us. Ooh, that's a nice train. Um, so what I'd like you to do is um, distribute, let's pause it, distribute chemicals over there. And let's make it, let's, let's, uh, let's fill it up like that because it's not gonna and similarly over there let's fill it up like something like that so if we do that now these guys will jump into action bring chemicals over straight away um, and so then we can start getting this stuff ready and loaded hopefully with enough money we can start to fix things off just a tad so what I want to do uh, we don't have any way know what give me a bus stop right here right if i grab I'll, for the time being we'll run a bus stop we need power still i'm gonna get this up and running now so if i were to do this right is that the only options we have yeah not really Yeah, that should actually work reasonably well. If we do that, that'll give us a bus stop. So let's do... Something like that. I'm just going to go ahead and build that myself. What I would like to do is I would like it to do this so it's a bit of a turnaround like so i'm hoping that means it can do both sides uh, actually let's just do two way let's just do two way i don't think it's uh it's necessarily going to be very valuable to do it that way and what we'll do is we will go ahead and add that path there and Add that both there and we'll go and build those. Now, the next thing we need to do is get some power going over here. So while we're waiting on a little bit more money, we can maybe make a start on the power. So from a power perspective, we will need to get ourselves a few substations. So let's grab a couple of substations. So we will need power on both sides of this spectrum here. So I'm going to go ahead and put one of them over there and the other one we'll see about just doing something like this really uh, and actually that is not a bad idea just do it over there that doesn't actually need power there okay what we'll do is let's um try this in try that in and see about where we're going to get some power from 
for these two facilities. Now we may as well use these if we can. Power connectivity is from I'm kind of wondering whether we do one from this side. I think we'll have to go underground though. If we go underground, we'll just run them through there. So let's grab the underground uh, medium voltage lines. So if we just do that, and I would like to tie you in like so, that's going to be fine. Ooh, actually. Now, let's run that through there. I'm going to go and get rid of the other one. And we'll tie all of that out. And now from here, we'll say, you're going to go, actually, you're going to go over there. And you're going to go over here. And what we'll do is we'll, ooh, don't do that. We'll get that built. We'll get that built. We'll get that built. And we'll get that built. So now, uh, we'll also get that built. So now I believe we should have this all powered up, right? Powered up over there, powered up over there. This is got it. Building, so our drinking water doesn't have engineers. We'll need to get engineers to come over here. We've already got a bus route that can kind of make that work for us. So we'll do that. Um, I think we can now start covering off some of these other bits and pieces. So let's pay for a little bit of this. Let's go in that. Is that not connected? Oh, yeah. Let's get that connected over there. Yeah, that goes. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, go pay for that. We'll go pay for this one. Not bad. We will pay for that. And then we've got one little section left there. We'll just go ahead and get that done. Two sections. It's going to be pretty pricey, but I think that's going to be worth it. Because now we've got water. Got our chemicals, got our chemicals over here. We're just not producing anything just yet. That is good. Now let's get our bus connection um, to run in here as well. I believe. And I just have a quick look at this, Komoshinovsk. Let's just have a look at this line. Hmm. Interesting. Now, what we will do is after this stop here oh hang on forget about that one. Oh, come on show me this guy show me the the line uh actually no show me the line close that off pin that line now so it's going there so it's running all the way there that's okay i don't mind that too much uh but now it's going to do the other way around really because this one was more important that was kind of a secondary objective um i might run it in both directions actually let's do that we let's do that one first so but let's leave this in place so after that we're gonna say you're gonna pop in over there and you're gonna unload whoever you want and you're gonna do that so now you're gonna go in there do your thing come back out um well, that's okay. Let's just leave it as is. And what we'll do is... Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll just keep it in there. So now, any new buses will actually run in here instead. Uh, and the one problem we do have is that these guys need to actually be repaired at some point. I was waiting for a while, but that's okay. I don't mind it too much. There's a lot going on, but I would love to see um, this stuff starting to work. So let's just drop down the amount. So 50 and 20. And what we'll do is similarly over here. So something like that. So half and half should give us, oh, actually half and full, actually. So let's drop that one down a few more clicks. So something like that. So now this should be a, a fairly appropriate ratio. I just want to see whether we can actually get enough people out here. So that's 18. We, yeah, no, we, we need more. We need more. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to start seeing 
uh, a bit of a production going. Excellent, so UF6 is being produced. And then once we have UF6 going, we should get the rest moving. Now, I do want us to maybe put an end station in place quickly so that we can actually get these guys to, to operate a little bit better for us. So if we wanted to do an end station, where would we do it? There's a little bit of room here, but this might be a bit more prime property really. So let's maybe make it towards this side instead, towards the back here. Let's go there, get ourselves a bit of an end station. Bus end station, please. Uh, alternatively, you know what we could do? We could just link the end station directly onto this, which will mean we can get the stuff actually prepared over time. If I were to do that, that should be okay. I'll get that one to go in there, that one to go out there. We'll pay for that. Just we'll set that up in a minute. That's an interesting vehicle. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get our one-way traffic in and out there. Um, okay, good stuff. And then we want to grab this other vehicle, right? This is the oh, this is the sewage pump. Oh, that's being it's a construction vehicle. This guy, this guy here, is the is the commotion of workers there. So after you've done commotion of services bus stop hmm? where is this thing oh that's interesting okay so just uh, basically so after that what you want to do is you want to come in here please and you'll just do that and now we can know we no longer need the whole spacing thing um, yeah so that's going to be used fine so and now that means these guys should actually get repaired um, and what I'll also do is I'll buy a couple more of them, which we're using the Marses, right? Which Mars are we using though? Probably this one. Give me two more. And what I'll do is I'll just assign them to those lines. So the commotion of mine workers, please. Make a start. No, that's not the one, is it? Oh yeah, that, that's fine. And this guy, um, please assign it to line commotion of mine workers and make a start. So now, hopefully we'll get a few more people moving. And I think that'll do it for the episode, to be honest. So these guys should be getting repaired. Yeah, reasonably repaired over here. Um, lots of little bits and pieces being built. Uh, this is done. That is done. That is done. So we can almost start mining. What I can do is I can... Um, start the process over here, start the process over there, start the process over there. So we can slowly get all of those pieces done. Um, I'm assuming this guy is not building what it should be building anymore. Okay, hopefully we should start seeing some nuclear fuel being created over here. This guy is not seeing anything here just yet. Um, and what I would like to do is just make sure that we are um, just putting these things. Oh, you know what we're missing here is these guys are probably generating a fair bit of waste, which we're not picking up on. Hmm. Okay, so let's quickly, let's sort that out and then we'll need to finish this episode. So if we were to grab the big one, can we, can we, can we please grab the big one? Yes, we can. So give me the big one over there. We'll sign that up. And this guy will need um, a few hazardous wastes, a few biological wastes, and um, so something like that, I think, should be a good starting point. Slowly filling up. It's got a bit of room there, though, so let's see about that. Um, yeah, this is filling up. Excellent. So that should be, we should be able to pick that up. Uh, the question really is if we are, once we're producing this at a reasonable pace, can we, can we get something ready to go? We, we should be able to get something on track fairly soon. That guy will, yeah, hopefully now we're starting to see enough people being dropped off here so that this can actually keep running. No, 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 it's getting, 
getting people in here as well. Uh, for this time, for the time being, well, we should probably get it constructed, so that's okay. Just do that. It's not getting too many workers to go in there. Yeah. Keep filling this guy up. So let's uh, let's get let's get the full spectrum going. This is half capacity, and that should really get us to to run these things properly. Uh, what I wanted to do is just put these things in one way. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that, and let's do that. So this should now hopefully fill up, but I think it might just want to fill it up first over here. And then we'll see about moving some stuff to the border so that we can make some real money. If we do two tons at a time, I mean, that's like almost a million right there. So that's going to be good. That'll give us the money we need to really continue our, our expertise or our construction industry. But yeah, there's a lot going on. And then hopefully we'll get this up and running fairly soon. We need probably need to expand this town and city a little bit more. Everybody is fairly happy, I think. There might have been a little bit of a dip there. Um, and I just want to have a quick look. Yeah, we've got people living with their parents um, and probably escaping. Um, so we do need to kind of sort that out. We've got tons of coal. We can export more coal. Certainly we can um, if we wanted to, though that's not a really good and efficient way of making money. This, on the other hand, is. So why is that? Oh, we just don't have any workers there, really. That's the issue, to be, to be very clear. Uh, is this guy? Oh, that guy's beautiful. That guy is absolutely brilliant. And what we do need to actually bear in mind is this guy would need. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get another little one in there. So hopefully we can uh, we can get an extra train park. Yeah, I think we should be able to get an extra train park there if we uh, if we run out of room. Okay, good stuff. So actually, I think we've got um, garbage under control over here. That there's a bit that needs to be moved around and it's probably causing a little bit of pollution. This should be running. No engineers and workers, so we are missing. I think this stuff is being repaired at the moment. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll get that sorted out. Guys, um, thank you so much for watching. We've done a fair bit of, in this episode. Um, paying for some of it as we go, of course. Um, but I think we would be in a position fairly soon uh, where we have most of our construction industry just um, just automated doing our own, doing the construction um, as we go. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.